let's talk about the overwork principle. I know in this day of efficiency and extra hacking and I'm going to give you the ultimate hack that will provide you dividends, will provide you money, and it will make your life better. I promise. I seriously promise. Last August, I started doing a lot of live streaming, a ton of live streaming, and it was very profitable. It was. But one of the things that I had to do was to condition myself for the next step. Doing live streams is easier than it is to do these kind of videos. One of the things you have to do when you're about to hit the overwork principle is you got to get rid of the clock. You got to ignore it. You got to just smash it. You got to kick it up to the curb because clock watching and the overwork principle does not get it. It's much easier. You sit, you talk, you engage the audience, you do all that stuff. But doing this it takes planning, it takes staging, it takes knowing where you're going, it takes knowing what kind of story you want to tell, right? So it's not as easy. Last August, I developed my video self by doing one stream a day, and then December, I crock it up to where I was doing two streams a day. Now, what all of this did was create a perspective. When you create a perspective, you open up the doors to greatness. My job here isn't to teach you how to be ordinary. My job here isn't to teach you how to make a little extra money. My job is to teach you guys how to be great, how to set something up that will give you the life that you want. So some of these tools, some of these things, these are just not for the average person. You know, if you're the average person, put that in the comments and put why are you average? And more importantly, put why do you want to stay average? So I built myself up where I was doing about hour prep work in an hour to an hour and a half long live stream. So that's four and a half to five hours doing these live streams, right? Well, now that looks like I've acclimated myself to it. So it's not really a big deal. But now that those four and a half to five hours of planning and doing are ingrained in me and I've acclimated to it, now I can put in an hour and a half to two hours to make these kind of videos. What I did there was called progressive overload, where you overload your mind because it's a bodybuilding principle where you lift weights and you raise the weights and you lift that weight. That's progressive overload. But it doesn't just work for your body. It works for your mind. Most of us are weak of mind. We're weak of uh, ambition. We don't have the perspective that we need to be successful. We don't have the perspective to become great because we don't even know what really good is. I want you to think about that. We don't really know what really good is. We know what average is. We know what getting by is. We know what making do, doing just enough. We know that all day long, but we don't know what it takes to be great because to be great, you have to overload yourself. You have to overload your body. You have to overload your mind. You have to put yourself in the position that you're going to win. You have to put yourself in the position where you to taste a little bit of greatness. I put myself through this and it was hard and I was struggling. Uh, there was a lot of things that were going on. But now that I've acclimated myself to this, I can put out even more videos because what I did is I went toward the higher plane of creating videos by dedicating four and a half to five hours a day, five days a week, sometimes seven. It's become 
so easy to make these 12 to 15 to 20 minute videos because I've changed my perspective. I've gotten past being normal. I've gotten to the point where I'm not tasting greatness yet, but I've moved beyond average and I'm kind of going toward exceptional. And that's what you have to do if you want to make exceptional money need to have exceptional output. You need to have a certain level of greatness, a certain level. This puts you in a position where you can be better and more well built. Because just like you build your body, you have to build your mind. And there's a lot of things that you need to do. One of the things that happens when you're trying to build greatness, when you're trying to prep yourself to the next level, is mind taps out much quicker than it can. The body taps out much quicker than it can. And it creates this space where you know you can be better, but it's just so hard to push. And that is all up in the mind because now I feel like a video beast. I feel like, you know, I can do this. I can do so many videos. I can be creative. But I put in the work. And let's look at the work. August, September, October, November, December, January. And that's just the six months of putting in the work, getting good results. I was making money, but I feel that I can make so much more money by building myself and working on becoming great and taking these videos to another level than just doing what I was doing. And that's what you're gonna see. So that's just a little tip for you to enhance yourself by enhancing your activity. You have to overwork. Now you don't have to overwork for years and years, but there must be periods in your life where you are busting, you are putting out, you're putting out content, you're putting out blog posts, you're doing Facebook. I mean, you're like going bananas. You gotta do that to take off, to get to that point where you have achieved lift. And then it gets a little easier, but not much. But the thing is, the reason it feels that it gets easier is because your perspective is better. Your perspective is deeper. Your perspective is so enhanced that you're doing twice the work, three times the work, four times the work, but it doesn't feel like it because you've built yourself. All right, so I got a special for you dudes and dudettes. The Superior Mindset Bundle check it out. It will enhance and talk about these principles that I talked about in this video.